Hey guys, and what is up? Welcome back to the next part, well, to the second part of Rogue Legacy. Um, I guess, uh, today, I'm gonna be playing as... I guess Sir Teddy the Paladin, probably... Yeah, Sir Teddy the Paladin. I was about to say I still don't have enough money to unlock this shinobi, but I forgot that I already did that, so that is, uh, pretty nice. And I think I can just use my upgrade, well, my money to upgrade my armor to the blood chest plate, but apparently not because I am 50 gold away, so I can't do that. And again, I don't keep my gold. Um, Sharon takes it all whenever I enter the castle, so it's, there's definitely, it's definitely a good idea to use a lot of money before you go into the castle. Um, what do I want to do? Let's go ahead and, um, let's get an attack up, and then I was going to get a, a health up on top of that, but then I forgot, you know what, money's kind of an issue. Kind of why I didn't get the blood chest plate. So, now we are back at Castle Hansen, and, wow, everything dropped money. That's kind of nice. That normally doesn't happen. Also... I got hit back into the other room, so enemies, uh, got to, got to replenish their health, and that's not exactly a great thing. But now I'm one-shotting the eyeballs. Was I one-shotting them before? I don't remember. I think I was, actually, so never mind about now one-shotting the eyeballs. Though I technically am. What did I stand on? I, probably just the bookcase. There we go. I actually didn't mean to use the bookcase. But, uh, it made me look like I knew what I was doing. So, you know what? I'll take it. Oh! Hi, mini-boss. I don't like you. One of you ruined my, my last run. And I don't really appreciate that too much. So, I'm just gonna run past you and grab the money. Okay? Okay. Okay, how much do I get? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, I can probably take him, maybe. I'm at 1 HP. This is stupid. Why am I doing this? Okay. That was really stupid. And I am going to die. I am going to die in there. Okay. I also thought that I might have died. Might have... My eh, words. I also thought that death was a uh, pretty good possibility there or two when I entered this room just because of that uh, ice mage thing. I, I I don't remember the names. Frosten. Frosten. Really? That is how that run ends. That was horrible. But one thing that I noticed, I actually never uh, noticed this before. I noticed the, uh, I noticed that you could tell the age of the characters, but I never actually paid much attention to, uh, what it said before your class. So now we have the Determined Paladin, Determined Knave, Valiant Paladin, blah blah blah, the Feeble Barbarian King. Feeble Barbarian King. I love that. But, uh, let's see, Shinobi, I really want to play as a Shinobi, but I don't really want to be a giant, but... Also, I kind of want to show off an electrophobia, but there's enough time for that to do it later, and I really like Shinobi. So, Sir Teddy the Second, that is the most ferocious name that I have ever heard in my entire life. Let's go ahead and use him to, uh, to do things. And stuff, also. Also stuff. Also stuff. I'm gonna want to get a health up here, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's give you all our money. Let's head on in. So, the reason why I like the Shinobi, I mentioned it before, is, again, just because of, uh, the damage. I think there I just did, is that 84? No, 54. Okay, I was about to say, 84 seems a little OP. Uh, I'm just gonna get that to shoot over here, that way. There we go. I still want to jump up and have it shoot me right in the face. So that's why I was waiting for that. I meant to jump, but that was me being stupid. But it's really nice being able to actually one-shot almost everything. 
at least in the beginning part of the tower. When we uh, get to uh, when we get a little bit deeper in the in the tower and uh, and everyone starts getting a little bit higher level, I, I want nothing to do with them right now. Um, that is kind of when I won't be able to one hit them. Oh, I thought that would have one hit killed it. So that's kind of why. Uh, But yeah, I thought that I could one-hit kill that last enemy that I ran into, so that's why I uh, kept running and got hit. And it looks like this is going to lead up to the Maya. There are three main areas that connect to the tower. There's the Maya, which is up top. There's the forest, which is to the right. And then there is the uh, Land of Darkness, which is to the bottom. So, I, I'm going to enter the Maya real quick, just to kind of show you what it's like in here. I am very underleveled. But, uh, I'm just gonna take a little sneak peek at it. You get a lot more money here. Really, the higher the difficulty, the more money you get. But, of course, you know, higher difficulty. So, it's not always a good thing. Uh, yeah, it didn't look like too bad of a room at all. Then again, it also didn't have much in it. But, ten gold, I mean, it's, it's still something. It's like nothing, but it's something. And these whole guards, if I didn't have this other guy to worry about... Ooh, these other guys, I uh, don't really, I didn't really want to take on all three of them. There we go, two of them now, one of them. There we go. There we go, now I'm back up here. These Hulk guards, as you can probably guess, they're a lot more vulnerable in the back. And the reason I'm bouncing back is because I am hitting their shield, but I am going to uh, do enough damage to kill them. Probably not get money, apparently. I was really hoping. I just realized I'm at 6 HP. Um, I'm just going to get what's in here and let's see what's in the next. Nope, not going to do that with 6 HP. Shinobi does have like no health, so that is that is kind of an issue. I could try this fairy chest. I'm just going to go up here so you guys can get the gist of what you have to do right here. Uh, big, like, spike weaving. Not really uh, too great at that, so yeah. I'm not really gonna deal with that. Why did I do that? I was... The reason I turned around was because I realized what I did, and I was trying to uh, run back to the center before I got hit. But obviously that didn't work out for me, so I feel bad for that one. I do not want to plays you. Oh, but she's a dwarf. Oh, I kind of want to plays you, but I... For a very short time... I am probably going to kill myself in this life, just because I really do not want to deal with uh, with this, and I don't think you exactly want to deal with looking at it for too long either. Um, I think. Oh, never mind. Enough money to get. To, but yeah, this is that. Uh, this is the. As you can read, if you tilt your head upside down. Never mind. I can't see. Can I? Vertigo. Yeah. Vertigo. I'm not a big fan of Vertigo. However, I am a decently big fan of the blood equipment, so I'm gonna get that, because that's kind of nice. So now my chest is red. So, woohoo. I'm just gonna run back out here real quickly by, can get anything with 140? I don't think I can. The cheapest is probably the Monop, and yeah, I, no. Well, Sharon. Here you go, 140 gold. All yours, buddy. I really do not like playing as someone with vertigo. I kind of just wanted to choose her just because... Is this a her or him? This is a her. Just to kind of show this off real quickly, but... I'm not gonna... Yeah. I also kind of figured one of those would have been fake just because of, uh... Well, they were really close together. But I guess not. Come on. Ah. I timed that very horribly. There we go. Come on, Doomus. You're dead. Gonna head back over here so that way I can kill that. Get a little bit more money. Let's see. I'm trying to think of how much money would be 
a good enough amount for me to not feel bad about killing myself right here, because, yeah, I just realized my money's also upside down, that is 210. That's not really a lot, that's not enough to do, like, anything with, so I am gonna keep going. I guess if I get 500, I'm just gonna kill myself. And that bag of money right there is going to be very helpful in that. Ah! Hitting enemies is so annoying like this. This is probably... This is either just as bad or maybe even worse for me than it is for you. Because you're you're just watching this. I also have to try to figure out how to attack and everything like this. Though that also does keep my mind busy so it isn't as bad from just looking at... I don't know. I don't know. But here we have a jukebox. So, yay. It plays all the different uh, music from the tower. Maybe more, I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, that that's a thing. That That is a thing that exists. Oh, frick. Ah, no, I wanna go down. Nope, nope, don't touch me. You're dead. Good. Oh. Okay. I don't like this. I also used to really hate those fire wizards. But now... Now they aren't so big of an issue to me anymore. They're still annoying. Ah, uh, wait. How did that hit? I didn't jump? Oh. Never mind. It was the... Okay. I was not paying attention. I was paying more attention to trying to figure out whether or not that portrait was real or fake. And it's real, by the way, so... Yay, I, I got that under wraps. We're, we're good! That portrait's real! We're good, guys. I may be at 22 health, I think, but we're good, because that's a fake. And there we go! That's gonna be... Yeah, all three of those portraits this time are fake. There we go. Oh, that was very stupid. I should have jumped from the other side. There we go. You're throwing that, so now I can jump from this side. There we go. Now I actually hit. It's so difficult to do, like, anything like this. But there we go. I'm at 560 gold. So next room, I'm going to just kill myself because I really don't like this. And I'm sure you don't either. This is really annoying. Ah, okay. I didn't even have to try to kill myself, so thank you, Doomvis. Okay. We're good now. We can play as a paladin with dyslexia and tunnel vision. A uh, paladin with dyslexia. Or a knave with dwarfism and hypergonadism. I like dwarfism. Hypergonadism... I'm... Sometimes it's really good, sometimes I'm kind of mad towards it. Knave, though... Uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the knave. Let's see if he's good at, if he's as good this time as he was last time. And let's also get some runes because double jump is something that I kind of want. So vault room. And yeah, she has nothing else. And what else do you have? Eh, nothing that really interests me too much. I can get it. Actually, no. I do want the next sword. So, 155. That's not going to be enough for anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and go in. I could wait and possibly get a better sword soon, but at the same time, that's only a chance of happening, and 250 isn't really a whole lot to ask for. For equipment, so I, I just kind of figured, you know what, why not? Okay, there we go. When I jumped as high as I did, I was kind of afraid that this was going to be a uh, another doom. This, like this. Let me hit you. There we go. Unfortunately, though, with being small, even though I do have a tinier hitbox, you know. It also means that I have to pay more attention to how I attack just because of uh, my sword being so small. So that's really not too big of an issue. So, oh no, boohoo, I won't be able to hit this knight in here, but 
I really don't care too much. Thank you for that bag of gold. I appreciate that. I would have liked more with it. But, you know what? A bag of gold is a bag of gold. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be angry about that. Now, I actually have never seen that big picture of the king. So, I'm... I don't actually know exactly what to expect with this. Uh, if that's... Okay, that is real. Ah, frick. That was bad, too. And... I really want the chest, and I really... It's like, I feel like I can take him on. There we go. Okay, I was able to kill it just because of a, uh... Very skilled critical hit. Not luck at all. Very skillful. Completely skill-based. I'm, I'm talking about the butt. It was... It was... It was... It was luck. But it managed to, uh... Let me live and get some money. And kill a mini-boss. So, I am happy about the killing the mini-boss part. I probably should have actually, uh... Just ran in there under... Like, just ran instead of doing the jump over. And done a double jump. But, you know what? It doesn't much matter because I'm still alive. And here we have another part of the journal. <clears throat> journal entry number three. I have paid my dues and entered the castle proper. That devil Sharon has taken all that I own as payment. He has even pilfered my private coffers. I have left my wife and children with nothing. With nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who hazard the depths of the castle. He says it's fair. It is fair because of all who have entered, none have returned. But I will change that. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. I th also thought that was going to be a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. I was a bit worried that I might jump too high there. And I also realized that my idea of just using the double jump might not be so great if I could make it with the regular jump because I didn't exactly want to just fall into a pit of spikes and look like an idiot on camera because that would be nice. There we go. That one is down. Okay. No fighting. I might be able to do this. Maybe. I'm normally pretty good at dodging those. There we go. Okay. And now that I have it, well, actually, now that I've come close to it even, I would be able to fight if I really wanted to. But, yeah, I, I kind of figured I was going to die, but it was kind of worth it because I got that rune that I wasn't actually paying attention to what rune it was. But it was still a rune. But now I have the Shinobi with Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's... Not really that big of an issue for me, um, right now anyways, because I haven't really been looking much at my, uh, at my map anyways, whenever I was, well, since I've been on camera anyways. Normally I do look at it a bit more, but I will go ahead and get myself another attack up. I really do like having more attack, and what else do you have? I'm just gonna click away his, uh, stuff that says new that's actually really old. Same with her. So, we have the Grace Rune is what we got. And this, as you can see, it makes enemies uh, a bit weaker, but we also get less in rewards. So, that's not really something that I feel is worth paying for right now. Maybe later. Maybe. Though, I've never really had much of a need for those. And there is actually a, uh, another version of those called the Curse Rune, which does the exact opposite. Enemies get, uh... Enemies are a bit tougher, but they also get more rewards, and... That I can imagine as being something a little bit more useful. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this, because A, we have to deal with the knight itself, obviously. B, he's on the pit of spikes, and C, we also would have had that thing shooting at us. And also, I didn't realize I could one-hit it now. So, you know, that's kind of nice. There we go. That was actually not bad. I thought I was going to get hit for sure there. Oh! Like that. That was a uh, bad way to get hit, but you know what? I don't care. I don't really care too much. 
Oh, I feel bad for that one, though. I also feel really bad for that one. Okay. Normally, I am not this bad with spikes. I, I swear, I am not normally this bad with spikes. And there we go, an extra bag of gold for us. And this room's not really too bad. They give you just enough time between each of the sh Ooh, that could've been bad. They give you just enough time between each of the shots in order to uh, come up to one of these little alcoves. As soon as that shoots, I'm going. Oh, okay. There we go. But going down is a lot easier, though I am gonna stay over there just for a minute just because of that one gold piece. Also, suddenly I'm really hungry. Which makes sense, I haven't eaten since like, what, maybe 5 p.m. and now it's 2 in the morning? 2.22? So, you know, eating should kind of be a thing right now. But, why would I need to eat if I can record? I kind of just wanted to go into that room real quickly, so that way I would be sure that uh, I wouldn't get hit by that fireball. But yeah, I will definitely be uh, grabbing something after this, because now I'm, like, extremely hungry. That suddenly, just, like, stomach. Why, you weren't too hungry, like, two minutes ago, and now you're, like, starving. Why do you, why do, you do this so quickly? Now, and now it's gotten to the point where I'm just like sitting here trying to think of something to say that's not involving food, and my mind is drawing a blank, and that is obviously not a good sign. And then that chicken fell from the chandelier just to taunt me. But it looks like we do have another chest up in this room, so I will definitely grab that. After grabbing that gold coin real quickly. There we go, you're dead. Those spikes at- I thought that that was close enough for me to just be able to run back. Oh. Well, anyways. I am going to go ahead and end this video here. And I will see you guys in the next part after I grab something to eat. So, uh, see you guys then.